Are you going to tell us a little bit about spices then, you guys? <coughs> um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed when they put um, the bag into the dye and it changed colour. If you um, consider turmeric, right, you really get this absolutely fantastic um, colour. And the colour comes from a single molecule. And that molecule is actually sitting, or a model of it, is sitting here on the table. And it's called curcumin. What it's got are these two oxygens in the middle. And it turns out that these kinds of, uh, these kinds of units in the center um, are increasingly used by chemists to bind metals for use in optical electronics and in, in sort of glowing devices. So it's, th th there is potential here for actually using turmeric, I think, for making display screens. Does anyone want to be dyed? He wants it. He wants Can we do your shirt? What we'll do is we'll take the corner and we'll shove it in there deliberately. And it helps to actually have a fairly hot solution. And it would probably help if we had a little bit so more turmeric in Does that mean that hot curry stains better than I cold suspect, curry? I suspect it would, yes. And so essentially what turmeric can do is Spider-Man-like stick itself on to the fibers. And once it's on there, very, very hard um, to get it off and out of the way. I like versus what they did with the ice, because this is the same. It's the same as what she said. I never knew they could do like that sort of stuff. So it was, it was something different. So we were thinking, if you're going to serve a drink in a, in a, in a, for a curry, what you'd want is something that's like minus 10 degrees, really, to counteract it. So can we get minus 10 degrees water? What we've done is we've actually got a, a bucket here, a pail, and we've actually put um, loads of ice into it, a bunch of water, and you notice the outside? Any idea what the temperature of the outside is? It's pretty cold because there's ice on the outside. And th what that means is that the temperature of this stuff must be well below zero to start condensing water out of the air. And so this stuff here must be, it's probably down around minus 10. And the way we achieved that was actually by adding salt. And we're gonna see whether we can get the ice to start in one place and end up in another. Let's try, try this one, tap it. There oh, it, yeah, goes. it goes, watch. Ooh, see it go? And so what you can see is the ice actually forming as it goes down through the bottle. Now, I don't think anyone can actually, can, can you guys see it from the back? Yeah, um, okay. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Guys, that was superb. Much, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah have some numpy. To start to form the ice crystal, you actually need a beginning. You actually need the first few molecules to line up and engineer themselves in just the right arrangement and get going. What happens in your ice tray? Normally, there's bits of dust. There's little bits of ice that fall in from the rest of the fridge, that kind of stuff. That's what sets it going. In this bottle, it's sealed, it's clean, there's no dust, and so the ice doesn't know what to do. In this case, what we're generating is a tiny bubble and it's bubbles which actually started. It's a process called acoustic cavitation. I never knew that um, water can do that, it can just freeze like that. Have a good trip home. <laughs>